A story from God's word. Now Joab knew that Absalom's heart longed to see Absalom. So he sent for a wise woman outside of Jerusalem, and he said to her, Pretend it to be in mourning. Wear your mourning clothes and give all of the appearances as if you had been mourning for many days. Then go to the king, and I will tell you what to say. And so she went to the king and said to him, Save me, O Lord. And the king said, Well, what is your trouble? And she answered, I am a widow, my husband is dead, and I had two sons. And they were out in the field, and there was a struggle, and no one was there to separate them, and one of the sons killed the other. Now my family is crying for his blood, and they would kill him to avenge the death of his brother. And if they would do that, then they would leave me with no heir, and my husband's name would be wiped from the earth. And then the king said, Go to your house, and I will do what you ask of me. And the woman said to the king, On me, my lord, be the guilt and not you and your throne. Let them be guiltless. The king said, If anyone says anything to you, you bring them to me, and I will make sure they never touch you again. Then she said, Please let the king invoke the Lord your God, that the avenger of blood would not destroy my son. And David said, as the Lord lives, he will not harm one hair of your son's head. Then the woman said, Please let your servant speak a word to the Lord my king. And he said, Speak. And the woman said, Why have you planned such a thing against the people of God? For in giving this decision, the king convicts himself in so much as the king does not bring back his banished one home. We must all die. We are like water spilled on the ground, which cannot be gathered up again. But the Lord does not take away life. He devises means so that the banished can return home. Now I've come to say this to my lord the king, because the people have made me afraid, and your servant thought, I will speak to the king, and maybe the king will perform the request of this servant. For the king will hear and deliver his servant from the hand of the man who would destroy me and my son together from the heritage of God. And your servant thought, the word of the Lord of the king will set me at rest, for the Lord the king is like the angel of God to discern good and evil. The Lord your God be with you. And then the king answered the woman, Do not hide anything from me that I ask you. And the woman said, Let the king speak. And the king said, Is the hand of Joab with you in this? And the woman answered, As surely as you live, my lord the king, one cannot turn right or left without you knowing it. Yes, it was Joab that gave me the words, because he was trying to reconcile the situation. But the Lord has wisdom like the wisdom of the angel of God to know all things that are on the earth. Then the king said to Joab, Behold now, I grant this. Go bring back the young man Absalom. And Joab fell on his face and said, Thank you. Today you honor your servant, and I have found favor in your sight. Thank you. So Joab arose and went and brought Absalom to Jerusalem. But David said, Let him dwell apart in his own house, and he is not to come into my presence. 
So Absalom lived apart in his own house and did not come into the king's presence. A story from God's word. <laughs> 